I, I slip cast in porcelain, tableware, I'm all functional and I want people to use them every day and if it breaks it doesn't matter, you know, it's just a piece, it's not for sort of Sunday best or Sunday lunch, it's for everyday wear. You know, my chickens eat out of the seconds, I want people to, to use them. I am quite sure that I want every piece to function and multifunction. The pasta bowls can also be serving bowls, can be soup bowls and the drinking cups can be pencil holders if you want them to be pencil holders. I, I really want them to be used in whatever way you want them to be for you, you know. They're not sort of special, precious things. So I work in my studio and I make my own prototypes. I make my own moulds and I mix my own slip in order to get the final product. The beauty of slip casting is that even though the moulds are all, you know, the, the pieces should be identical, they're not. Uh, they each come out with their own personality, their own texture, their own thickness, their own form. I, I work slowly. I, I like to uh, take time on each piece. I wouldn't consider myself a mass production potter. That's not what I'm interested in. I'm really interested in the, the process and how and how intimate the process is, how each piece really has had a lot of my thought, a lot of my time. Well, I feel like, with the, especially with porcelain, and especially with these forms, glaze can be really distracting. It can be, for me, it's either all about the glaze or all about the form. I want my pieces to be all about the form. And because it's for tableware and food, I feel like the purity of the food is maintained because it's on a white background. You know, if you were put a, to put a piece of meat on a green plate, it wouldn't look like a fresh, nice piece of meat. It would look like a rotten piece of meat. And I feel like with the white background, what you're eating is exactly how you see it. It's not, the colors aren't changed because of the glaze. No fuss, no frills, which I think is part of the Irish way. It's not fussy. It's not a fussy place. The people are very straightforward. What you see is what you get. And I feel like that's probably the same with my work. I never thought about it, but you know, what you see is what you get. There's nothing, nothing hidden underneath that glaze. It's just the pure form, the white porcelain, the white glaze. I think when I opened the shop, when I opened the studio and wanted somewhere where I could sell my work from, I realized my work looks better with beautiful breadboards or beautiful linens, or it's enhanced by other people's work. So that's really how it how it evolved. Plus, I had you know a lot of friends making things and looking for an outlet to sell them. And why not all be under one roof? We're all in the same boat, trying to do something with our work. Yeah, it's a joy to come to my studio every morning. I'm surrounded by a state park. I'm surrounded by other artists and craftspeople, chocolate makers, musicians, yogis. You name it, that they're, they're here. Oh, my surroundings are really important to my work. It's a very intimate place. It's a small community. Everybody knows each other. Everybody looks out for each other. There is a definitely a secure feeling of being part of a community.